<laughs> I'm unboxing the new BlackBerry Passport. Uh, I've been a big fan of BlackBerry, and it's almost guaranteed that I was going to buy this. Now, before we start, it's psoriasis, so there's no need to comment. My current camera is dead. I have a new one, but to compensate, I am using my iPhone that I'm replacing this with. <laughs> Sellotaped to my lamp. <laughs> so I have no idea how this video is going to turn out. But I thought we'd give it a go anyway. Now, contrary to popular belief, Blackberry are not dead. They're not doing well. And for a fact that when I went into the shop today, the shop had been open for four hours. They'd only just got this in. And I was the first one to buy one. So, let's have a look. This is called... same size as a passport. Oh man, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Proper keyboard. It's a four and a half inch squared uh, screen with a 1440 by 1440 um, pixels. So, you know, it's pre-HD. 13 megapixel camera. 3,300 um, battery, or is it 3,400? Either way. And uh, yeah, I've been excited about this for a long time. This is not a phone I am going to be able to use one handed <laughs> at all. We look at that, it comes with. <laughs> That's quite cool. It actually looks. The BlackBerry Passport comes with a passport looking book. Thank you, Mercy. Now, this is the first BlackBerry in years that has been released with even slightly you know, comparable stats to the, to the big players. It's got 3 gig of RAM, quad core, uh, Snapdragon 800 processor. Now that can't compare to the 801 in like, you know, the S5 and the 805 which is coming out soon. But uh, at still, you know, as far as Blackberries go, it's amazing. I'm a big fan of Blackberry 10 in general. And, uh, Excuse me. in these, oh, I'm not sure if I'm on camera or sorry, I can't see the screen of the phone because of um, sellotape. <laughs> I used to do these Sony ones, I used to fit in like that, which are quite nice. So.
inside this white part of my hand. It's actually, it feels really quality. Oh. <laughs> side which is traditional uh, it's got an aluminium frame can take a bit of getting used to that because they've gone from a normal four but uh, four lines set to three Ooh. Charger. Is it USB C? Well, it's like Type 3 USB. Yeah, yeah like USB C it's called. Oh, nice. USB C. And I've got A, K, G headphones. Apparently, they're supposed to be really good, and other people say they're really shit. So, I'm going to A, oop. And that one. An adapter for some reason. I don't know why I call that adapter either. No idea. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's a micro USB to USB C adapter. Oh. That's handy. Okay. Well, I've got them as well. He has no idea how to use them. No, I don't. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sure it will be fine. She's new to this. There we go. Galaxy S8. It's a nice screen. We just turned my brand new phone on with that. I did. With, with what? What? Just, just the cheek of it. Amazing, isn't it? God. And because it's the first one with Android, for the rest of the night it's going to be, Baby, <laughs> how do you do that? Baby, this isn't working. Baby. <laughs> yes. Phone girl, please. Baby! <laughs> you, you turned it on though.
I've never used the phone. I'm going to have to use the instruction manual. I'll do another video at some point. satisfying thing for
Battery safety instructions. <laughs> This is slightly worrying. <laughs> I just ask why it isn't working. Let's try charging it up. Which the wire I just put away. <laughs>
premium. That's it. Oh, actually, that's not a fair quality. Compared to normal, that'll fit in my ears quite nicely. It's not. Whew, compared to normal, that's fantastic. more solid feel to it than the um, Z30, Z20. And that's it loading up on Vodafone. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. As it may be known, there is a particular company of phone that I have a special place in my heart for. Now when it comes to a phone, I want everything from it. And uh, there's a certain type of thing that I get from my phone normally. Which, uh, this phone I will not be able to do things with. <coughs> but. I'm a blackberry whore and uh, I had a bonus now <laughs> to put into context for an extra £50 I could have got the Galaxy S8 second hand but that keyboard dude that keyboard so 
welcome to the unboxing of the Blackberry Key One. My precious! So, the box is quite nice. Now, it is mid range spec, mid range specs. There's no denying that. And for the price, which is just below, um, what do you call it? Uh, flagship. You are paying a premium price for this. And when this came out, I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not paying that kind of price for this. Well, apparently I did. Because, like I said, I am a Blackberry whore. And uh, I haven't got a knife on me, so that's why half the video is going to be me trying to open it. <laughs> I saw spices on my thumb from dinner. My god, this isn't tight. Come on, you bastard. There is a reason it's called shitty unboxing, by the way. So. unboxing you are in the right the wrong place now this is an unfortunate name blackberry key one because if you cut it out that's a ko knockout and this is blackberry's last designed phone before they hand over the reins to tlc which make alcatel now they have released a couple of blackberry phones over the last year after the priv which was a fucking disaster and they are basically redesigned Alcatel phones, so... Okay... Let's have a look. Okay... I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. So, that is a gorgeous phone. USB-C cable, I like that, and some semi-decent headphones, well, I understand, oh, and some different size things as well, so, in here, we have the SIM tool, and the instructions, now these instructions are getting smaller and smaller, I remember with my first Nokia, it's like, dozen things, you know. Just realised there's a bit of fuzz at the bottom there, and I don't know if that's a camera lens or a fucking quick start guide. Now if you want a keyboard on an Android phone, or a phone in general, this is pretty much your only option. And I kind of feel that's what they were going for. And that's fine, because I love me a keyboard. Now, the actual design of the phone. You've got this bag. You've got the same sensor as the Google Pixel, but you don't have the same software. So, are you ready? Oh, yeah. And... for this because in some videos the screen pops off <laughs> now this is going to be blackberry shield it's going to be the most um what do you call it uh the most secure phone on android which is crap because most of the stuff that you can get on blackberry comes on nougat anyway but hey who knows so let's turn it on keyboard is on the left hand side, uh, the keyboard, the power key, and you've got convenience key in that, and um, oh yes, 
Oh, this feels like a premium phone. I might do my very, very first review on this. Because I've never done one before, but I've always been meaning to. So if you're interested in that, tell me in the comments. Uh, to be honest, this probably isn't worth £500. But, um, and, but statistically speaking, when I've talked, you know, I change very a lot, as you may have guessed. Statistically speaking, this is case work. The phones I've always had for the longest are Blackberries. So I may have this one for more than a month. I hope so, the fucking price I paid. It's got like a TPU case, which will protect it a little bit, maybe. Just a little bit. And, um, it's a 4.5 inch screen, so just slightly smaller than your iPhone. Uh, I am coming from the uh, Samsung Ultra XA and when you compare the screen sizes here <laughs> there's a slight difference so I'm going to leave that there set up my new precious and then I'll blow this gun so uh, thank you for watching
six inch windows mode and uh, 1080p screen 20 megapixel camera and I got it because I'm kind of interested in windows and it's got been interested in playing some games on Windows Phone and uh, the, the 20 megapixel 1080 camera with this, like 360 surround sound uh, recording really really interested me like, uh, like really interested me So uh, we'll see how long I keep it for, consider my track record. This seems really small now. <laughs> I'm sorry if you've had the kids in the background. England are currently playing and I was saving it to now to record my video because I thought it'd be quiet. Turns out I was wrong. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Good night.
boxi. Here, here. 635. It's a 4G budget handset. Now, I know I only unboxed a 1 Mini 2 uh, <laughs> a few days ago, but uh, I couldn't get on with it and sold it. Now, due to some financial issues, I can't really afford a world class phone at the moment. So I thought I'd challenge myself to go for a budget phone for a while. I did a bit of research, and the local EE shop, who are my network provider, we're doing this one for £50, which is a steal considering Windows Phone. Which I like Nokia's 4G, that's great. So I thought I'd give it a go. And, uh, so I've got this horrible green one. <laughs> I kind of love it. It's got a 5 megapixel camera, and the lens does seem to pop out. Battery and stuff, I think. So it feels cheap. There is absolutely no, there's no question this is a budget blower. One, you know. But, uh, I've USB um, wire data cable. That's crazy. If that flickers, it's because my lamp's on the way out. Guide. Pull off SIM, micro SIM. So, shall we have a go turn this on? I just need to get my stuff. I keep all my SIM cards and stuff in a apartment bin. Yes, we can. <laughs> so you just uh, get your thumb under there and lift off. Let's have a look on the back. It feels like a reasonably oh, sorry, reasonably well built device if I don't smash it up trying to take the back off. It seems to be a fingerprint. I might do a review of this one because I'm going to be using it for a while. 
Thanks for watching. Hello. Uh, today I'm unboxing a Nokia Lumia 930. Uh, excuse the poor lighting. I broke my lamp. <laughs> so, uh, this is the latest flagship Windows phone. Uh, the comes with a 5 inch screen. Snapdragon 800 quad core processor at I think it's 2.2 gigahertz, 2 gig of RAM, a 1080 screen, and 32 gigabyte of inbuilt memory. And I got the orange one, <laughs> which you can see. It's actually quite garish. So let me look at the actual phone. Let's see what it comes with. It's annoying, it comes in at the side, so if you plug it into something, you can't put ones next to them. First world problems. And a normal micro USB data cable. On the inside, you have the wireless charging, so it connects obviously to that. And you just place your phone on it like that, and it charges it, which is pretty nifty. I don't know how practical it's going to be, but we'll see. I'm quite excited about it. Uh, it's got minimal terms. In here. And apparently Microsoft constantly listened to consumer feedback to shape our products and services. And following successful trials with our partners around the world, the decision was made to ship the Lumia 930 without a headset and FSLs pack. This is a great initiative for the environment, reducing both the use of materials and the process and a manufacturing process as well as a potential reduction in waste. Oh, I can request a headset. <laughs> that was, that's just awkward. I love it when they don't really think these things through. And I bet for world partners, they said the people that make it <laughs> to save money. <laughs> Let's have a look at the actual phone. So, I got the uh, orange one, because I'm a sucker for bright colours. It's got a 20 megapixel camera with uh, dual LED flash. And it also, much like the Nokia 1520, has four microphones. So, if I use it to record videos, it will sound like I'm surround sound. Which is a good thing, so I love doing this. Some card goes in the door, so it's got three buttons on the side volume, unlock, camera dedicated, uh, the power cable, and the SIM card, and the Five millimeter headphone jack. It's got a nice weight in the hand. Kind of feels like I can use it. It's got decent build quality. Uh, got quite impressed. It's all unibody, so you know, no removable battery or anything. But you know, it's just uh, cool. Let's put my SIM card in it. You don't need one of those annoying pins, which is quite refreshing. 
because I'm not sure where my one is and obviously not one came in the box. It's got an IPS LCD. Oh, no, it isn't. No, sorry, that was the 1520. This has got a OLED screen, so you get really decent colours and stuff. I'll do a potential review maybe when I've used it for a while. Now, if you get this quite soon after release, this only came out on the 17th of July over here in the UK. I think the US version was the uh, Lumia Icon, the 930s, the national one. I got a free kit of it. Which included a portable charging kit, a speaker, and a twenty-pound Lumia um, voucher, which would be quite handy. So small and cool. Obviously, it wasn't color coded. <laughs> you would have thought it would. But uh, this is the Bluetooth speaker. Using. I'm hoping it's wireless, I don't know if it uses what it uses to charge, but I'll have a look at that. But it's uh, quite a nice colour, I like that. Well, it uses NFC, not just wireless, wireless sorry. And a portable charging kit. So you charge this up and then uh, using the normal charger. And it's a portable battery, so if you need to charge your phone up, you just put that microphone on top and it can charge up to like 90%, which is pretty good. So uh, these normally retail for, I don't know, 60 quid, I think, so I'm already happy with the price. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, bye-bye. Good evening. No. I know I said I wouldn't be doing many more unboxing videos, but I've got something in my hands which I'm so excited about. And uh, I know I've just got that new Nokia, but I've just wrapped it for this. OnePlus One phone. This is a smartphone, a flagship killer it's called. And it's made by a Chinese company that uh, I think they developed delved from the Oppo brand. And to get a hold of one of these is quite hard because you need to be invited to buy them. It's like the old Gmail system used to be. And it's very hard to get the invite without install going in for loads of competitions and bits and pieces like that. So basically, I don't want to do that because you've got spam. And uh, this came up on a gum tree. And the guy who um, bought it, he's been waiting since January. It arrived this week. He waited two days at work. And then they told him he can't use it because it's not sanctioned by the business. So he sold it to me. This is a 64 gigabyte edition. Uh, sandstone black. Uh, it's designed by OnePlus. They're a fa fairly new mobile company. Uh, they've only been around since, I think, by like the end of last year. And uh, there's quite the back catalogue for these. Alone. Just for the... Uh, Invites, so it's a very nice presentation box. These, this phone on its own, the 16 gigabyte, is 230 pound. That's 230 pound for a phone that rivals the Note 3 in price. Oh. So, it's uh, covered in fingerprints.
screens already, right behind the look there. It's, I think it's a 5.5 inch screen, fully HD. It's got a quad core processor, uh, 3 gigabyte of RAM, 13 megapixel camera, and apparently a 5 megapixel front camera. Uh, the screen is great. It, um, it's got this unusual kind of matted back. And uh, it kind of feels quite nice to hold. So, although I should probably. It runs, uh, it's not proper Android, it runs Cyanogen, which, if anyone out there knows, is a. If you root your phone, is a, an Android alternative to st like either stock Android or. Which is uh, crowdfunded and developed. And I think that might have been one of the things that keeps the price down. Now. The awkward thing is, is this has got a pattern on, which I'm going to have to phone up the guy to get, <laughs> otherwise I can't use it. So, <laughs> let's have a look at we got here. <coughs> it's the SIM card tool. Although, so you know, you get some, it's not cheap, like, you know, it's not an expensive device, but it's not cheap quality, like you would expect from a lot of Chinese import phones. You know, like the, the Galaxy S5 clones and stuff. Like the, um, this is the USB. That's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant quality. It uses the micro USB. Let's uh, look at the actual. I don't think it comes with any paperwork. <laughs> but that's not an issue. Yeah, it comes with a European plug, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, quite a nice plug. Ooh, the presentation of this is really nice, so that'll plug into that, and I can use that. So, I am bloody excited about this. And when I set it all up, I may do a review video, or try to. I've said that uh, more than a few times about a lot of these phones. <laughs> that I have. Oops. Like that. But, um, yeah, I'm genuinely excited about this one. So, very excited indeed. Although I'm afraid I didn't get to do the satisfying peel. Oh, let's do it again. You ready? You ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.
my Blackberry, <laughs> less than a month old, has taken a wee bit of a tumble. Now, this is the first video I'm filming in my new studio, so I'm quite happy. There's the green screen on the wall. <laughs> so, I have bought a cheap phone, just to last me a couple of months until the insurance so I can claim on my Blackberry. <laughs> This is not a new phone, obviously, by any length of the imagination. But it was very pretty, and that's why I wanted it. Just a short video. So, it would seem that someone put my last video about the competition onto the Reddit. Or maybe only two or three people would enter. It turns out quite a few people have. I've gained 10% <laughs> in subscribers in one day. It's quite an odd sensation. Very, very cool sensation. This is quite an old phone. In great condition. And uh, as most people know, I like the colour pink. So this will last me for a while. Two, three years old, but uh, super AMOLED screen, which I love in a phone. I love the brightness of it. Dual core, except uh, I'll probably get rid of the whole touch whiz crap. But, get that under the lighting. Get to know your Galaxy S2. As anyone who knows, who knows this channel, I go through quite a few phones because I get bored and sell. Quick start, guys. One phone is much like another when it comes to knowing what you're doing. Although I've never pissed about with uh, entering uh, custom ROMs on Android before, so that should be fun or a complete. It's not a good sign. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's try the other battery then. Hopefully it just needs charging. <laughs>
minus two GT one nine one zero zero. Jesus, that is an awful, awful entrance. Hello, today I am doing unboxing. It has been a long time since I have done this accent, so it may be a little bit rough. I am Dr. Cole, today I am unboxing the Sony Xperia XZ Premium. Now, you may say Dr. Cole. What happened to Drunk ASMR Blackberry Key 1? Well, it had a little problem with phone and screen going. So he had to return. Instead, he buy this. This is the clone edition. We'll look at this better in a minute. I am recording during day because time difference. Yeah, as you can see, it has very similar entrance to Kieran. Support card. Startup card. No cargo passed with loud music. Relation of conformity and USB Type C. There's loud bird. I do not record during the day in this area for this reason. Sony headphones probably shit. Fast charger. It is empty. Very frustrating time. So the foot of phone. This is a 5.5 4K resolution screen. It has the Snapdragon 835. This is the limited edition. Look, you can see me. Hello! It is I, Dr. Kov. I need to shoot and eat seagull. It's this thing of beauty. Snapdragon 835, 4 gig of RAM. The European version has a fingerprint scan, but as you can see, that will be pointless. This, but there's another car going by. Yes. Oh, yes, it's very pretty. Never again I film during the day. But I need phone. Turn on. This thing is gorgeous. It has dual front speakers, waterproof. It is good. It takes a long time to load up. It comes with Noga. That is time. This has been sh shitty unboxing with me, Dr. Kov. Goodbye. Hello. So, I've done something I'd said I've always wanted to do, but never had the guts. I finally went out and bought a cheap Chinese phone. Now, 
This is the HTL. Uh, actually, I'm not quite sure what the middle number. Uh, w11, which <laughs> goes under the name as Monkey King. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect from this. This is second hand. Um, I bought it from a guy on eBay. Uh, it cost me £100, and uh, it's meant to have a complete uh, quad core, 2 gig of RAM, and a 5 inch screen. So um, I thought I'd have a look on camera. <laughs> oh. So far, so good. Let's have a look. So, oh, it's got a case on it, apparently. Let's have a look at that. If that comes off. looking for it by any more. So it's definitely got the 5 inch screen. Uh, apparently it's got two 13 megapixel cameras on it. One on the back and then one on the front for those people that like to take selfies. Uh, I am not one of them but you know still. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Looks fairly fairly good. Yeah. Oh it's on. Oh. Uh, that was quite loud. So, that's quite nice, I guess. But this is an unboxing, and we do a review at some other point. Yeah, it's definitely five inches. <laughs> Which is in English, but uh, I don't know how if it's from broken English or not. After unlocking and entering the desktop, users can click an icon to open corresponding program. Yeah, not the best of English. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have it in. <laughs> it's in the tool. And it's cheap and it's coming apart. I hope the phone's better than this. <laughs> uh, micro USB. And uh, a charger I can't use. Travel charger. Okay. And some fairly decent looking headphones. Use original headphone uh, uh, for. Oh, oh, that's grim. They're used, <laughs> and you can see on the inside. Uh, I think probably just going to be that. <laughs> so. No memory card. Let's have a look then. So, it is dual SIM. The screen is uh, quite bright. Looks like they've used some of the whole touch whiz thing. Seems fairly um, intuitive. Order menu. All seems to work nicely. Uh, where's the settings? This is quite difficult. It comes to Play Store. So that's pretty good. I was a bit worried that it might not. Although it didn't work when I clicked it. Um, I think at some point I may do a, uh, a review on this. <laughs> um, but it does. Does seem pretty, uh, pretty good. Maybe use it for a bit and see what happens. <laughs> right. Uh, I have no idea how to get the SIM card in. Where does that go? Ah, oh, that corner bit there. 
take in two seconds. Let's have a look. I've got a tool for that somewhere, I believe. <coughs> Continue to look at the There's been another phone unlocking. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Xperia Z1. Thank you.
have seized them. I went all out and bought a new camera, which I'll show off later. But to do that, I had to sell a phone, and I bought the HTC One Mini Two. Now, I bought it in gold. I don't normally do budget phones, so to speak. But uh, this one was really, really pretty. <laughs> which is about what I can say. So uh, it's kind of a second-hand, brand new. By a quad core 1.2 gigahertz, it's 1.3 um, Snapdragon 401 processor, uh, and it is pretty. Yeah, so like, like really pretty. If I ah, oh, the phone's there. It's got a 720. HD screen runs. I'm not sure which version of Android it runs. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'll keep it. To be honest, I need normally need something a bit more powerful. It's a four and a half inch screen, and it's pretty pretty bulky for that. But it fits in the hand. Like if you've got big hands like me, it fits in there quite nicely. It seems fairly responsive. So what else do you get with it? Some use getting used to another phone with the button, unlock a button on top. So we've got the wire, just a simple charger, and this is where you can tell it's second hand. You know, there's almost nothing in it, and some fairly decent looking headphones, to be honest. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done it. These look not too bad. And, uh, at home, I, be, I use not expensive headphones, like 50 quid ones. What I'm out and about, and, you know, I use cheaper headphones that I don't really need to worry about. So, let's put everything in here and hope that it works. For now, recently I've been using the um, Galaxy. SK Zoom, uh, K Zoom, and uh, I've been using that for videos, and it's fairly decent. But with this new camera, I simply don't need it. So, um, unfortunately, I bloody dropped it earlier. <laughs> uh, um, I went all out with this new camera. I'm not gonna lie, it cost me a pretty penny. Does mean that I will be 
be making videos on a much more regular basis again. But I'll show you that in a video shortly. So it's got one of these stupid things where you have to use the a special tool to actually open it. Nano memory card. It's got a 13 megapixel um, camera. SIM card not detected. That's correct. I think I just put those in wrong. I thought that was the SIM card there. <laughs> this might look quite embarrassing. Now, how does this fit in? Does it slide in there? Of, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna call this quits <laughs> using the phone <laughs> and it's an unboxing video. Thanks for watching. Banana phone. A lot of keys are good.
I'll just say that one. They're scratching. This is Ladies and gentlemen, the banana phone.
Ja, 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 So that must be
actually still sold. <laughs> this isn't old at all. But it is bugger the record to take in charge with. Oh, this is the old classic. I think. Let's copy this one, copy snake. Now this one is battered with Google. So this is a HTC Android or something. This is the 3410, which was a slight upgrade to the 3310. I bet this is the only one that turns on. I am completely wrong. <laughs> so, I got these at 8 quid. I bought these because this one. Which I assume that goes on there. It's my first ever mobile phone. on Tesco Mobile, but I'm hoping that it um, works with our GIC app, which it should do. G7 Power. Ceramic. So, this is less than £100. Actually, I think it was £100, but um, it's, uh, yeah, I think she's still using Windows Phone, and with the lockdown coronavirus and all that shit,
is it's a fairly budget but it is beefy like heavy as hell got a very very big uh, size usb type c that is 6.2 inch screen Microsoft 900 Halo model. So, you know, it's like another one of those big things. Set them up. Uh, no, that shit's not boxing. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. She chose a cover for it on Amazon, and I need to show you how ugly this thing is. Awful, but it should give her the protection that's needed. My god, this is, thing is massive. I don't know how she's gonna get through this. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> right. This will be my first time touching it in a video. So, thank you for watching. It's not well packed.
you sent me that meme, didn't you? <laughs> You've completely ruined this video. <laughs> but we're not going to stop. Because fuck it, we'll do it live. Do it live. Say sorry. Sorry. Say it like you mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I've lost it. This, 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 this. Ruined, you ruined it. This phone's older than your wife. <laughs> my mistress, not my wife. Two thousand and three called. They want their phone adapter back. It's actually nineteen ninety eight. Cheese and rice. Pulled the charger, but it came with a. In a time when you couldn't break phones. Hello. Yeah, I've just done an unboxing. Oh, it was rubbish. Why do you look like an Indian man? Saved. Mush. I didn't even do that.
Sie hier, da ist die Lampe. 